you know, I'm sitting here looking at the live data here, and I'm looking at oxygen sensor number one and number two. And um, I'm happy to notice that uh, you can't even see my arms in the way or something that's going on. Uh, oxygen, oxygen number one on bank one, the uh, the voltage is, um, as you see, fluctuating, but sometime it will drop down to zero, as in 0, 0.000. Um, you know, I, I, I looked up before, I can't remember what the actual range is, but let me give it about, uh, and it's hard to do on a percentage on here, but let me give it a little bit of throttle here. You'll see the throttle position sensor. Try to get around 6%. And give it some more. I don't really know if the if the if a oxygen sensor is supposed to actually read zero. Um, I thought it was always supposed to be uh, within a specific range, and the second one behind the catalytic converter is just to um, make sure that the uh, the cat is doing its job. Sorry to say, I didn't really drive with it, um, but I don't think that an oxygen sensor would do this. Although it does kind of make sense because it happens really when the car has been warm, so that means the sensor would still be warm, but not when it's cold. So, uh, yeah, this would be something to check out. I, I honestly have not checked, I mean, I haven't taken and replaced any of the oxygen sensors yet since I got the car, uh, in 2008. So, it is still running here. Uh, let's change page pages engine RPM is uh, I can't see it. I got my light on here too you still can't see it 700 it's fluctuating and the short term and long term fuel trim And uh, that's it. I'm going to shut it off here.